Today we're going to show you how to make these really cool personalized paw print ornaments for your Christmas tree. I'm Ken. I'm Cal. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you spend some quality time with your four-legged family member. Now let's get right into the ingredients of this. And first things first, we need some modeling clay. Now, um, I really like this air hardening modeling clay. You can get it at uh, any local craft store. I'll include a link uh, to, to, uh, to the Amazon affiliate link in the description down below so that you can get it uh, really easily. But I've chosen this modeling clay because you can certainly use something like the salt dough uh, instead of this, but they don't last as long. You're gonna get a lot more longevity out of this modeling, modeling clay. And you're gonna need a rolling pin because we're gonna flatten out this modeling clay so that it's uh, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch thick, a little closer to a half when we do the dog's prints on there. And we're gonna need something to make sure it's nice and flat. Next up, you're going to need cookie cutters, and uh, certainly you can get different size cookie cutters for different size dogs. I've got a four inch here that'll be really big for all our big dogs, and then I've got a, a three inch here that uh, will be great for a dog like Hippie Shake. It'll be nice to have a couple varieties of sizes for them. Then you're going to need some small brushes. We're going to be using a tacky glue. Once the, uh, the ornament has dried, we're going to put this glue in the paw print itself, and we need to apply it with these small brushes. So just get some inexpensive small brushes that you can throw away because the glue will really do a number on them. And last but not least is some glitter. Now, uh, if you're anything like us, your dog has a color. So we have seven dogs and each dog has their own color. Um, Deegan has red, Mac has brown, Funky has purple, Slam has black, Rad has green, Hippie Shake has pink, and Beeline has yellow. So we needed to get quite an assortment of these sparkles, <laughs> all kinds of different colors here. You can see the thing here and I'll post a link to this uh, in the description as well below but we have uh, several ornaments to make so let's get right to it. So let's flatten out our modeling clay here and it can be uh, tough to work with you know it really doesn't move very easily but that's sort of the benefit of it because it is pretty dense and when we get the um, when we get our shape cut out and when we have our dog's footprint imprinted on it it's going to uh, last a really long time. And that's sort of the benefit, again, of using this modeling clay. Now we're gonna to want to make the most of this uh, clay um, and we flattened it out. You can see how thick it is. Uh, it's, you know, maybe just a little bit, a little bit over a quarter of an inch. And then we need a little bit of space to press or a little bit of depth to press the dog's paw into it. So don't make it too thin, but we're gonna to try to make the most of this. So we're gonna pick a corner And work our clay around that. And we'll do our absolute best to not damage the shape. But I think that's a good size and shape for Hippie Shake. Now do yourself a favor, if you have multiple dogs, you're going to want to set up like a, maybe a sheet of paper that you can, after you press the dog's paw in, you can set it there. We have eight uh, different ornaments ready to get the paw impressions on them and we don't want to mix them up. It's going to be impossible to tell them other than maybe hippie shakes and uh, being funky, but it's going to be impossible to tell them apart after. So make sure you set up somewhere that you can uh, keep track of whose paw print is whose while you leave them out to dry. When you uh, get your circle, you may notice that one of the sides is a bit more smooth than the other. So try to pick the smoothest side for the dog's paw to go in since that's the one that's going to be presented when it's on your tree. So we're going to do a joint effort here. Uh, Ken's going to do the dog holding and I'm going to do the paw pressing. Mm, I've got, we've got Grand Slam here. Grand Slam is first up. <laughs> he looks very impressed by this. <laughs> I know. You're okay, buddy. So put it right in the middle. Press down. And you want to get a good impression, so you kind of have to make sure you put a little bit of pressure on all the parts of the paw, mm. so that it's a nice even print. What do you think there, Bean? You look super impressed. <laughs> You're such a good boy. Okay, I think that might be good. Okay, straight off. Oh, oh look at that! Good. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Not too okay, shabby. First one down. So that's like a perfect print. Yeah. So here's the thing. Now that we have his uh, paw impression on there, we need to make a little hole so that we can, you know, put some uh, baler twine or ribbon or string ribbon. or something. Yeah, through the top of the ornament. So it's at this point that you want to grab maybe a little straw, or we can always use 
We've got the, uh, the, the brushes that we're going to use to put the sparkles in the ornament. They're can, actually the perfect width, I think, yeah, for this. We can use uh, the end of the paintbrush to do that. Make sure you leave enough room at the top that it's like a nice uh, distance for when you put your yeah. string through. Yeah, that's a good point. If you make it too thin, it's going to fall. And make sure it goes all the way through. Great. If you spin it around, it'll be smooth. Okay. Very cool. One Who, down, who, seven to go. Who's next? Bradley. It's really helpful if you have someone uh, to, to hold the dogs, but it's not absolutely necessary. We're doing this, uh, like the paw imprint, on the counter so that you guys can see it better. <laughs> but you might be able to do it on the floor just as easily. Maybe you don't want to put your dog on the, on the counter. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> We've got to give these about 24 hours to uh, set up and, and dry, so we're going to do that. If you're using some other type of modeling clay, check the directions on the package. That way you'll know that it's uh, safe enough to put some glue on. We're going to let these guys dry, so we'll see you in 24 hours. All right, about 36 hours have passed and our ornaments have hardened up quite a bit. Um, it took a little while for them to, uh, you know, to, to dry up where the actual paw prints were. So check there first. Anywhere that you've compressed that clay is uh, gonna dry a little bit more slowly. But you may notice that there's an eighth ornament out here and that's for Kale's sister, Eight Ball. And uh, that's why we have an eighth uh, ornament uh, in case you were wondering why. But now it's time to add the glitter to the paw prints. Now we've chosen to use a baking sheet uh, for this because we're going to add glitter to each one of the ornaments and uh, we don't want glitter all over our kitchen after uh, at the end of this project. So now it's time to add our glue. So anybody that's worked with glitter uh, for a project knows that if you're using glitter, you're probably going to have it on you for the next three and a half weeks and you'll be finding like glittery things everywhere. I feel like it's okay for me to say that I have glitter, but what's going to be your yeah, excuse? Yeah, it's, it's going to be weird if I go to the fire hall and I'm covered in glitter. But, <laughs> The way that we're going to stick this glitter to our ornaments is by putting just a little drop of glue in the center of the places where we want the uh, glitter to stick and then we're going to use our brushes to spread it out. Two down, six more to go. And the next thing we need to do is put a uh, little ribbon on, a little piece of ribbon. Kelly may need to find this for me. So that we can hang it on the tree. Um, now we did make sure that you're careful with the glitter. I mean, it will go everywhere, but if you're uh, you know, careful about making sure you do it in something like a baking sheet uh, or a baking tray, cookie sheet, um, you're, it's not gonna go all over the place because we did struggle a little bit with the glitter uh, all over us <laughs> as we were preparing these things. I get to go teach today in yeah. glittery yes. shirts. So if you want to make it a little bit more flashy looking, you can uh, leave some of the ribbon left over after your knot and then run your scissors up it to make it more like curly. More twirly and curly. Twirly and curly, yeah. So cute, kind of like hippies fur. <laughs> So we hope that you have an opportunity to make uh, one of these paw print ornaments for your dog. We, uh, we had a lot of fun and we're really happy with how they turned out and I'm really excited to put them up on the tree. Yeah, me too. If this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you spend some quality time with your four-legged family member. You see that video right there? That's a video that YouTube thinks you'll want to watch next. On that note, I'm Ken. I'm Cal. Happy training. <laughs>